Welcome back to Gruber Motor Company, the auto shop of the future. There is a lot of turmoil recently over the new 4680 structural battery packs that Tesla is now using in the Model Y cars. Monroe and Associates, a leading EV reverse engineering firm, has opened one of these packs and found that the cells are now encased in a potting compound, making cell replacement and fault isolation much more difficult if not impossible. Gruber Motor Company operates on the fringes of impossible, innovating constantly and tackling repair challenges on Teslas, often deemed impossible. So Tesla's preference in encapsulating electronics and battery cells is not new. Starting with the Tesla Roadster, 6,831 cells are embedded in a thermal potting compound, which includes a cooling jacket under a bonding plates with 138 wire bonded connections, which renders cell replacement into the realm of near impossible. But we found a way to isolate and remove resistive cells from this circuit, restoring functionality to roadsters shipped to us from all over the United States every week. Other sub-assemblies like the DC to DC converter in the Tesla Roadster battery pack are also partially potted burying vital and serviceable components. Our repair of these sub-assemblies out of production since 2008 is like an archaeological dig where we have to excavate MOSFET transistors, transformers, capacitors, and other components as they fail. The newer 4680 cell battery packs now being produced by Tesla are encapsulated in a potting compound making individual cell diagnosis far more difficult. Here is a Tesla Model S battery pack, sealed and closed and none too easy to open for service either the cells or electronics inside. Unlike the new direction of potting the cells, these cells are still somewhat accessible and entire modules can be removed for bench service. The hard part about a pack like this is getting it open and getting rid of all the caulk and seals that are installed to prevent any water ingress. Our companies have routinely navigated the realms of impossible and solved problems with huge obstacles to create solutions and a sustainable third-party repair business model starting three decades ago in the critical power equipment field. So uninterruptible power systems, UPSs, is what powers global data centers and provides power when the utility fails to deliver power due to storms, someone hitting a power pole, lightning, or any other induced power outage. We began servicing this type of equipment nationwide with not only zero support from manufacturers since they saw us as a competitor, but outright attempts by manufacturers of this equipment to lock out competition by not only inserting proprietary padlock software which was specifically designed to limit competition, but they even aggressively prosecuted anyone creating their own software tools. One of these vendors even played games with parts support that they had in inventory, which we needed for down equipment, by not only gouging and overcharging, but then claiming two week lead times for parts they had in stock, unless we paid a 50% surcharge on the already bloated price. Companies like us had to reverse engineer create our own schematics, test procedures, in order to provide a sustainable third-party repair capability. This myopic, short-sighted strategy is not something we have ever seen with Tesla, and their recent move into encapsulating EV battery cells has much more to do with safety and structural integrity issues. Since Tesla does not open main battery packs at the service centers, the serviceability constraints are most likely an unintended consequence of this new design strategy. As we work with Tesla, having a great evolving collaborative partnership focused on taking care of their customer base, we find the much broader goal of moving the planet towards sustainable energy usage is the overriding concern and focus. Our take on this newly emerging concern about the future of Tesla battery pack serviceability is that innovation, research and development, and service solutions will emerge with companies like ours leading the way. We will continue to innovate, solve problems, 
and find ways to service these new structural 4680 battery packs. Many thanks to Monroe & Associates for their support and video footage. Thank you for joining us for another video segment. I'm Pete Gruber. Be sure to subscribe and watch us on the various platforms from TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and of course YouTube. Thank you.